won on last year are all expecting a wonderful match. Uh, two best teams in the country, without a doubt, are in the final. Um, I suppose Kilkenny might be looking for revenge after last year. Some people didn't give him enough credit for coming back and winning all Ireland last year over the, the penalty. And uh, Tip, I suppose, want to prove that they were the best team last year, but they didn't finish off the job. You look back to last year's final to see, you know, to try and measure up where the teams are. But I would think if anything, that Kilkenny are a little bit stronger. I think the midfield is a little bit better. And I think that their their defence is a little bit more balanced than last year. And I still feel that Tip, you know, the loss of Woodlock and uh, Kerrick, I know they weren't maybe marquee players, but they were very pacey and Woodlock was a great worker. I, I, I thought he was a bit undervalued last year, to be honest with you, but I see them as a loss and I'm not quite sure whether Tip have the replacements in place. Kilkenny weren't the force back then when we were playing them and, and we all, I don't ever remember losing to a Kilkenny uh, team either in the league or the championship. So it was nearly kind of the other the other side of the, the fence for Kilkenny were expecting maybe Tipperary to give them a, a, a beating. You know, now these guys, you know, Kilkenny been winning for the last 10 years, you know, now they expect to win all the time. So the only parallel I would draw is that there's there's young guys there now that have won minor under 21, haven't experienced losing, don't know what it's like to lose. And, and you could call them cocky or arrogant. They're not. They're just confident, good hurlers, and and they won't back off from the challenge on Sunday. I was up here what like last Wednesday week and uh, watching Kilkenny and Shefflin was playing training away as if there was no problem with him. So I I'd be inclined to feel that he, that they knew at that stage that he'd be right for it, and uh, I think they'll play him, and that I don't think will diminish them in any way. And you know whether whether you know he has to come off midway through the game or not, well that's a different thing. But I think they'll play him anyway because I think that he's the main man, and you'd want him on the field at the start. This Richie Power is as good a hurler as Joe Canning is. He has all the ability and, and if he can just get it out, I think he, he could be the win and lose of this match for Kikin. We got a shock against Cork. I think it brought us back down to earth. We probably thought we, we were going to march straight back to an all Ireland final again, you know, after last year's performance. And in fairness to Cork, they, they, they woke us up. My only biggest fear is that Kilkenny, which they normally do, attack teams very early on and, and go to hurt them quite badly. Uh, if we can sustain that, if we're in the game at, after, at half time, I think we have an incredible chance of winning the game. If Tip can keep it very, very tight and keep it tight the last five or ten minutes, maybe the weight of history will, will, will fall on their side. But you could, you, you could see Kilkenny maybe winning the game well, you couldn't see Tip. So everything would have to go right for Tip, but you'd have to fancy Kilkenny. As regards how to call it, I would certainly put uh, my hand on my heart and say Tipperary, if they're level at half time, will win the game. If Henry, Henry Shefflin and John Tennyson were 100%, I think Kilkenny can win this match before four or five points. If we can limit the Kilkenny forwards to two goals and, and, and maybe 12 points, I think we might sneak it by about 3-11. Final score, I go for Kilkenny maybe 2-16, Tipperary 16 points.